Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, write the equation of this ellipse when given the center, the vertex, and the focus. And what we want to do first is be able to identify where is going to be the major axis. Is it horizontal or vertical? Excuse me. So to do that, first thing we're going to do is plot the information. So we know our center is at 0, 0. I like that. Um, our vertex is at 0, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And our focus at 0, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. OK, so it's very important for us to understand that the distant, um, well, first of all, that the major axis, um, what lies on the major axis? And that is going to be your vertice, your foci, and your center. So therefore, since all three of these points have to lie on the major axis, you can see that this major axis is the y-axis. Um, and therefore, it's vertical. And when it's vertical, we write the equation of the ellipse like this, x minus h squared over b squared, where b represents the distance from the center to your covertice, which we don't have, plus y minus k squared all over a squared, where a represents the distance from the center to both vertices. Well, if I go, remember the center splits your two vertices. So if I'm going up 7 or 8 to get to this vertex, I can go down 8 to find the other vertex. But all I really care about is this distance, which is a. And that distance is 8. Um, so we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, we do know that the distance from the foci, one of the um, foci, is going to be c. All right, and we know that distance. Again, it would be c going up and also going down. Um, but that distance is going to be 6. The problem is we don't know what b squared is. And b represents the distance to your covertice. All right, so we're going to have to figure that out. But um, before we get to that, let's look at the center. Now, remember the center we represent as hk. So since that's 0 and 0, I can say x squared plus y squared over, uh, let's just, we don't know what b squared and a squared are. Actually, we do know what a squared is. a squared is 8, right? The distance from the center to your vertice is 8. So 8 squared is going to be 64. Now, the figure, now what we need to do is figure out what b is. Um, so there is a relationship between the the distances of your um, center to your focus, covertex, and vertex. And that um, relationship is c squared equals a squared minus b squared. And that relationship works for all ellipses. OK, so c squared is the distance um, from your center to your foci, which in this case is 6. So square that, it would be 36. a squared is going to be 64 minus b squared. So I subtract 64, subtract 64. Um, I should have 28. 28, or negative 28, equals a negative b squared. Divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1. b squared equals 28. So therefore, now I know what b squared is, which is 28. And there you go. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write the equation of the ellipse, given the center, the vertex, and the focus. Thanks.